All right, this is the spiritual transition game. This is a game that we play to transit to practice transitioning from the natural world to the spiritual world because of the fact so many people think like wouldn't it it'd be so much easier if I could get into a spiritual conversation then I could share the gospel and they pray and wait for opportunities to share the gospel. And when you get practice this game, you don't have to wait any longer. In fact, you could turn anything into a spiritual transition from the natural world to the spiritual world and get into that conversation. So this is a game we play for live Monday nights, 8 o'clock. For those who join the Striving for Eternity Academy live and get to give me something to transition that they think I just cannot possibly transition from whatever they give me to the gospel. And there, you know, I was talking to someone this week that they thought that these things are staged. I do not know what it is that I'm going to be transitioning to the gospel until the record button is hit. So I am going to transition from <laughs> sunburn. <laughs> okay, now I understand why someone thought this was a fitting one for me to transition. So I was down at Washington DC evangelizing to a bunch of atheists. I was outside all day and I had known that I have the complexion. I am melanin deficient. Okay, I lack melanin. And because of that, I burn easy, as you can see. Uh, so what happens when I'm out in the sun is I get sunburned. I don't tan, I don't look good, I just burn. And so I have to be very careful. So what do you do? You take the precautions. And I took the precaution of putting on sunblock. The problem was it was a very hot day and I spent the day sweating. And sunblock isn't always waterproof and I ended up wiping away the sunblock. You know, it's very interesting because what I actually did without realizing it is wiped away the very thing that was going to protect me from sunburn. And what I ended up doing was, well, getting burned. And the thing with that is as much as it could be painful and I look kind of like a lobster, I actually had the very thing that could protect me, but I wiped it away. You know, there's many people that do that with something far more important that protects us from something far more than just a sunburn, something that will burn far more. That is the fact that every one of us break God's law and are destined, are guilty and destined to a lake of fire where we will burn but not be consumed. We have a protection. God has given us His Word, His self-revelation to tell us how we could be in a right state with Him how we could be forgiven. And you know what most people do? They wipe it away. They just say, that's not God's word. That's just written by men. That has contradictions. And they wipe it away. And a day is coming that they're going to realize that they wiped away the only thing that could protect them from the danger to come. Don't be like that. Repent today. The Bible says that we must repent and receive Christ. We have to turn from trusting ourselves as a good person or our good works or our genealogy that we're born Jewish or Catholic or whatever. We got to turn from those things and turn and trust what Jesus Christ, God Almighty, did on the cross 2,000 years ago when God himself became a man and died as a payment of sin. That's how I would transition from this sunburn to the gospel. How would you go about doing